to competing in high stakes competitions, the skateboarding industry does it all. But what is the one thing every professional or beginner needs to be able to roll in the world of skating? A sturdy board that will hold up through any trick they attempt. I've been skating for five years and I know the difference a good board can make. So I'll be going through the different parts of a board and how to put it together so that if you guys decide to build your own board one day, you can be informed buyers and know how to do it. I'll be touching on the four main parts of a board, the deck, the trucks, the wheels, and the bearings. So, to start off, any good board starts with a good deck. You'll want to pick a size first. It ranges from 7.0 to 9.0, that is inches across. The bigger the board, the heavier it's going to be, but the more control you'll feel. I ride somewhere right in the middle, I ride an 8 up. So, the next part of the deck that you'll want to look at is the grip tape. This is the hard surface that helps you handle the board. Steve Cave says in his, art, in his article, Understanding Grip Tape, that there are two types. There's grip tape made out of silicon carbide and grip tape made out of aluminum oxide. Silicon carbide is a little bit uh, better of a material. It's a lot sharper and will hold for a lot longer. However, it is a little bit more expensive. Or you could go with aluminum oxide, which will dole a little bit faster, and you'll need to replace it more often, but it's going to be a little bit cheaper. So once you've decided on those two, uh, different things. You'll want to move on to the trucks. This is the metal part that holds the wheels and the deck together. These are, gonna, these are what you're going to want to last the longest, so you want to invest well in these. They're made out of a lot of different uh, types of metals, but by far the best one is titanium. It's light and durable, meaning it'll, you'll get the best bang for your buck for it. The next part of the trucks that you want to look at are the bushings. This is the little rubber piece right in the middle that actually allows the board to turn when you lean on it. Now, according to the staff at the W82 company in their article all about bushings, the harder the rubber is, the more resistance there's going to be to the turning when you, lean on the, when you lean on the board. This is better for doing tricks and stuff, but it's not as good for cruising around, say, campus. Or you could go with the other side, the softer bushings, which will uh, respond more to your leaning, so you'll be able to cruise a little bit easier and ride, like, turning a lot easier. Um, after you have your trucks in your deck, you're going to want to find a good set of bearings. Bearings are the piece in the wheel that actually allow it to roll. Ball bearings are little rings that have seven steel balls that distribute the weight evenly so that there's less friction you can roll for longer. The downfall of steel bearings, however, is that even though there is not that much friction, there is a little bit and it can cause the steel to heat up and expand, which can render the bearings useless and you have to buy set after set after set. That is where ceramic bearings come into play. Now, Hiramichi Ota states in his article, Vibrations of Ceramic Ball Bearings, that they're actually made out of a synthetic material that is a lot harder and smoother than steel, meaning there's a lot less friction and a lot less heat. And they don't expand with heat anyway because of this material. So it's definitely a good choice to invest in some, some ceramic bearings. Now, onto the final part, the wheels. You'll want to choose between cruising wheels or trick wheels. These are cruising wheels because they're a little bit wider and a lot softer. A lot easier to roll over rocks or whatever comes into your path. Or you can go with trick wheels which are a lot smaller and harder. This it creates a better uh, center of gravity for the board if you're trying to do tricks that involve flips and stuff. Um, all wheels nowadays are made out of a revolutionary material called polyurethane. It's going to be hard to find a wheel that's not made out of that. You wouldn't want to buy it anyway. It's, a, it's very durable and it's very grippy so that you don't slide out when you're skating. So now that you have all four parts of your board, you're going to want to put it together. You take the bearings and you pop them into the little wells that are designed for it in the wheels. And you'll slick all the wheels on the axles of the trucks. You'll then secure with a bolt on all four places. And then you can attach the trucks to the deck with four bolts on each one. Now that you have your completed board, you're ready to go. And hopefully, if you chose the right items, the board will last you up to a year. And then at that place, really only the deck will need to be replaced. If you're doing big tricks, it can snap. And I hope you all learned a little bit about the four components of a skateboard. And if you decide to put one together, you can always come ask me for some pointers if you want to learn. Thank you. All right. Mike, how do you think?